we were in so much stuff that was going on at that moment. You know, we were losing our guys. Our first few guys died in, you know, that first three months. And um, we lost um, Restrepo, we lost Vimoto. Vimoto and Pisic we got shot this first day. So when they told us they were coming out there, we didn't even care. It wasn't even like, oh, someone's coming out? Cool. You know, like it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't matter to us. The more the time went on, um, the more we got to know Sebastian and Tim, and the more we realized that they were really good dudes and that they were trying to tell our story. There was no political twist or anything that they were trying to add. They just wanted to tell our story and, and, and let the world know what we were going through. And uh, we realized if we didn't start talking to them, they weren't going to get the real story. So that's how it changed. We, we realized that we needed to talk to these guys. These guys were good guys. These guys were for us. They want to tell our story. We better start talking to them. So we did. The stories that were being put out about Afghanistan at the time weren't um, lies, but they weren't um, complete packages. And um, that's, the, the, that's what we we're saying. Like Tim and Sebastian could have gotten a... Um, a really great story if we never talked to them, but they would only got a small part of the story, you know. So when they were, so when we started talking to them, then they got the whole story. They got the whole, the th the whole thing. And I think that that's Tim and Sebastian are the one of the first few guys to get the whole story, rather than just go in there for, you know, a week or a month or something like that and sort of get the feel of the group, but not the, the, the true bottom line good story. One of the good things, the really cool things I've been able to do because of this movie is uh, I got to meet Restrepo's mother. Me and Misha Pemble Belkin got to go down there and meet uh, his mother. That was one of the most rewarding things ever. Um, I met families that have lost. I've been able to help mothers get sort of some kind of closure in, in their mind of why this had to happen and their son dying or something like that. And that's really powerful stuff, you know. Um, and, I mean, all that came from the movie, so it's like really a lot of good that has come from this movie, you know, like the screenings and stuff like that. So meeting Restrepo's mom was really, really amazing, you know. Like, we, we knew Restrepo, me and Misha and everyone in that platoon knew Restrepo was really a terrific person. And, um, you know, we never, we just based off of what we knew him in the military. And when we went that, when we went down to Florida and we met his mother, like, his whole family is amazing. And that's why the kid's amazing. You know, that's why Restrepo is amazing, because his whole family is amazing. His friends were amazing. His everything. You know, so like it was really, it was hard to to know that that you know, so many people were affected. You know, it wasn't just us in the military. It was like you know, and you you got to see like the bigger picture of how bad it, one person's death affects so many people. I mean, so many people, and um, so it was really important for us to go down there and meet them. And you know, one of the things, the nicest things that. Marcella, that's uh, Restrepo's mother, said to us was, you know, this is the closest um, that my son, you know, this is the closest thing that I'll ever have to my son coming home. And that's pretty powerful stuff, you know, that you can come closest to the son, you know, and, and you know, I'll be friends with her for life just because of that reason. I mean, other reasons too, but just one of the main reasons is because we are the last living things of her son, you know, other than her family. So they just wanted to know stories about us, about him and what was he like. And, you know, we told them stories and they're like, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so I don't know.